Okay, YouTube has officially launched Redirect, which is their version of hosting and rating. But there is a catch. You have to be connected first. Don't worry, I'm gonna go in depth today on eligibility, how to do this, and the pros and cons. All right, it's no secret that YouTube is really moving their chess pieces to compete in the long term for streaming. And I want everybody to understand that before we dive into all this stuff today, that is how YouTube is building this for the long term. YouTube is not trying to just replicate Twitch because in all reality, Twitch is a failing business. And I know a lot of Twitch fanboys are gonna get upset that I just said that, but in reality, in terms of its profit, it is, it's not working. It is a failing business. It's not turning a profit profit for Amazon, which is something that you as a streamer should consider because that means moving forward, Amazon and Twitch is going to figure out more ways to try to monetize themselves on the platform. They are going to try to figure out ways to monetize the creators as well. But as a creator, if you're even considering doing this full time, you have to be thinking of your future and you have to put those things into consideration. So that is why when it comes to the YouTube redirect and how to get some of these features, it's not a complete copy from Twitch. Okay, eligibility. This feature is available only to people that have have at least 1,000 subscribers on their channel and also don't have any community guideline strikes as well. Okay, so first off, let me address that, the 1,000 subscribers. I've heard a lot of people talk about the YouTube Partner Program and their concern that it's so tough to get to. Again, you have to remember with a lot of these goals and a lot of these features on YouTube, you can't really compare them to Twitch because once you actually get them on YouTube, they're more beneficial because by the time you actually work to get 1,000 subscribers, hypothetically, you're probably gonna be far better off in your growth on YouTube than just sitting back on Twitch and getting this stuff easily in your first month. I know this is a really tough pill to swallow, but a lot of YouTube's goals, YouTube partner program features like this, they're built on the aspect that you as a creator are actually gonna take time and dedication into your channel. Because on YouTube, that's what you need to do to succeed. I just put out a video the other day, if you're interested in moving from Twitch or from Facebook to YouTube, some things that you have to consider. A couple of those things include the reality that you have to be consistent. You're not just gonna blow up in one month. Or the reality that just because you think you deserve certain features because you really want this, you also do have to earn it. That is one of the negative things that Twitch has really introduced into the live streaming culture over these last few years. They've made it extremely easy to get Twitch affiliate and then made it hard to get Twitch partner. But now we're at a standstill where people really can't tell the difference between the two. So overall, if you feel these options on YouTube are unfair, just understand they're built to actually be a reward system for your effort and not just be an introduction because you want it. So how do you use the new redirect feature on YouTube? Believe it or not, YouTube redirect has actually been around for a while. And essentially what it was, was the ability for you to redirect your live stream viewers to the premiere of a new video. So in order to redirect your premiere viewers, go to YouTube studio from the left, click videos under where to redirect viewers, click select, choose another premiere or search for another channel's live stream. When your premiere ends, your viewers will be redirected. Now, if you actually wanna redirect your live stream, which just would be like the hosting rating feature, when you're in your live stream or preparing your live stream, click on your live stream, Go to the edit button here, click customization on the left, scroll down and under redirect, click add. Then you choose a premiere or search for another channel's live stream. When your live stream ends, you'll see a confirmation saying your viewers will be redirected. And then on top of that, when somebody redirects you, you will get a little notification at the top of your chat that says so-and-so is redirecting their viewers to you. Make sure you say hi. Okay, so here's the catch. By default, only channels you are subscribed to can redirect to your channel or people that you individually pick can redirect to your channel. Meaning if I have the options for subscribers set and I'm subscribed to you, you can redirect to my channel or vice versa. If you are subscribed to me and have this option set, I can redirect to you. However, if you don't have this option set and you want it set to specific channels, you have to actually add that person in your approved redirect feature in the back end. To change who can redirect to you, by default, any channel that you're subscribed to can redirect to your channel unless your channel subscriptions are set to private. So I got a link in the description on how you can learn to change your subscriptions to public. Now to only let specific channels redirect to you, go to YouTube Studio, from the left, click settings, then go to the community tab, uncheck the option to allow redirects from channels that you are subscribed to, and then under approved live redirects, enter a channel and click save. For this, you're gonna need the actual YouTube URL that YouTube has created, not your custom URL. You can find that in the YouTube Studio, your customization tab under basic branding. Okay, so after explaining that, this is the point where a lot of people are gonna be like, this is nothing like hosting 
commenting and rating. This is nothing like Twitch's feature. That's why I wanted to mention everything about YouTube not trying to be Twitch at the start. I reached out to a couple members of the YouTube gaming side of things, and although there are some things that I can't comment on that they informed me about their plans moving forward, one thing I can comment on is that confirmation that I mentioned at the start. YouTube is trying to build everything up in their streaming features for those long-term plans to avoid the problems that we've seen throughout the last few years. I mean, case in point, the hate raids themselves over on Twitch this last year and a half have just been atrocious. Having this redirect feature completely bypasses the opportunity for hate raids. On top of that as well, let me be completely realistic. Twitch hosting and raiding as a vast majority across the entire platform doesn't really do much. Yes, a lot of people have that crazy story of like that big host and what it meant to you and, and how many followers you got. But I ask you, and that situation, how many people actually stuck around? How much did that actually propel the growth of your channel? Did it just blow you up overnight? Of course it didn't. Over the last seven years of being involved in this community, it's a small, a small, like less than 1% fraction of people that have benefited, that have actually benefited from large hosts and raids. Again, for the long-term thoughts, being on Twitch and relying on that feature to help grow your brand is unrealistic and just immature. How I see the YouTube redirect being beneficial is it allows the core communities of multiple creators to intertwine with each other, which in my opinion is much more beneficial for your long-term growth amongst collaborations. I mean, case in point, look at the blow up of streamers over the last few years. Most of these guys were intertwined with each other. Tim the Tatman, Courage JD, Nick Merckx, Dr. Disrespect Ninja, all these guys constantly collaborated with each other and their communities were intertwined intertwined. One thing I mentioned to YouTube that I'm really excited about this is it really pushes the narrative to build yourself up amongst with other creators as well. For example, one of my YouTube streamer buds, Nocturnal Owl, who gets hundreds of viewers, tested this feature yesterday and redirected me with 120 viewers. The upside to this is those people, because we play together so much, specifically know who I am due to the communication through the streams. So they're more inclined to stay and support and actually be around for the stream. It was more beneficial by by having that previous connection. Now, that's not to say you can't do that on Twitch, but let's be honest, that's not the narrative in most cases. Most cases, smaller streamers are just hoping for that big 500 to 1,000 viewer host raid someday, and they think that it's actually gonna change things. I swear the YouTube redirect feature is literally built into the core idea of multiple people who affiliate or associate with each other in some way, shape, or form to come together and support each other. If you have the problems with that and you expect a different process, more like Twitch, I think you can completely missed the point of this. Overall, long-term, I hope they just make it like an easier option to select, you know, to have just like on the back end ready to go. That's a big thing that I actually really want from YouTube is a better like creator dashboard for live streaming. The creator dashboard is good right now, but that's one thing that I really think Twitch has down is the creator dashboard is just so good. It's the best out of any live streaming platform. So YouTube has hosting now. I'm telling you, if there's any time that you've wanted to move from Twitch to YouTube, now it's probably that time because I have a strong feeling over this next year, we're gonna see a lot more updates and it's better to invest your time and effort now to build your brand now and learn the platform now so you can hit those thousand subscribers and you can hit that YouTube partner program now and early before those big changes come out and you're just like part of the crowd of people coming over. Just my thought.